The sound of ocean breaks the silence of the glory morning. Nature, God's glorious creation, makes up the beautiful world in its mixture of emerald green, indigo blue, and everything in between. The variety of life on earth makes it all complete. The combination of flora and fauna makes this world a beautiful world to live in. Without one of them, the earth is in chaos. The imbalance of this element could shift the world's order. The pursuit of wealth and power leaves Mother Nature in suffering. Puanis, or Pesatuan Wanita Kampung Mangkuk Setiu, is a group of determined housewives collectively supporting their social economic welfare as well as preserving the environment. Situated in Kampung Mangko, in the state of Trengganu, Malaysia, the village locals are mainly fishermen and small cottage industries. Started in 2007, Puanis was first created with the objective to help members in improving their level of social economy and family income. Headed by Puan Rusnita Bintinga, the founder of the group, these women are involved in many activities, which involves the preservation and conservation of the local environment. Nak tubuh pewanis persatuan ni, memang kita sendiri pun berfikir, terfikir apakah akan terjadi kalau kita tidak bersepakat dengan kaum wanita di kampung ni. Mula-mula kita nak ambil orang pun nak masuk sama-sama dengan persatuan kita pergi tanya orang ni. Mula-mula. Macam tak ada kepercayaan, nak kedai. Ini pun kepercayaan orang kampung pun uh, adalah juga. Uh, Blessed with its beautiful sandy beaches and peaceful scenery, this village provides an excellent location for a turtle sanctuary and mangrove plantation. Together with WWF and Nestle, Pawanis activities includes replanting mangroves, producing banana chips, as well as holding exhibitions to create awareness for the villages and locals. According to River Fu, one of the WWF offices, Nestle funded a survey of socio-economic need and existing conditions of communities in key villages in situ. Nestle focused more on the women of the community because as mothers and co-income earners, they had an important role to play in the area's long-term development in a sustainable manner. The project involved preparing local women with the skills needed to develop cottage industries, including training on basic entrepreneurial skills, adopting green practices in food processing, marketing and branding, as well as environmental awareness. Support from such major organizations helped to boost the confidence of Pawanis members, playing the role of conservation ambassadors in encouraging local communities to participate in efforts such as mangrove replanting and preserving nature. For WWF, we are merely technical advisors, so we would advise them on how they can uh, proceed with their awareness work or what kind of awareness work that they, they do. And Nestle is one of the one, one important stakeholders where they are the main funder for Pawanis project. So it's great to see a corporate company and NGO work together with the local community uh, by providing them the funding and also technical advice. And it's a great thing that all the works are being conducted by the local community, Pawanis. Prior to this project, I think the level of awareness of conservation is very little. But now we can see, and if you go to the campo, you talk to kids, they know that the work by Pawanis, WWF and Nestle here are on the environmental. And also they know that they can tell you that uh, about turtle eggs. And you have local community that can actually talk to you about local conservation efforts. Asalnya, dari, daripada organisation WWF, Orang yang pupuk program ni dan kita orang support ya untuk pemulaan juga lah untuk um, ambil masa juga lah di program yang WWF terap ni efektif lah. Working with Pawanis, WWF Malaysia has motivated an increased number of participation 
in mangrove replanting efforts by the local community, including school children. The Pink House, a community centre in Kampong Mangko, functions as an operation centre for Pawanis to carry out their awareness programme, discussing environmental issues. Efforts. We have to bear in mind that they are all, when we first started, they are all merely housewife with very little educational background and also uh, being in a village, they marry at a young age and have a lot of kids and it, it, it's really a struggle for them as well actually to learn this. I mean, personally, I think in general public to learn about conservation is already tough. Imagine for them to n learn that and also for them to be able to improve themselves be talking to public, to be dealing with visitors. This is something that's very alien to them. Right now, we are glad to see that when they are visiting, you know, they have had visitors from Hong Kong, recently Thailand, <coughs> and yeah, they can handle the gas and also they make money out of these visits through uh, replanting efforts and some cultural activities. They also participated in exhibitions throughout Trunganu, which gave Pawanis members the opportunity to showcase their conservation efforts to communities from inside and outside of their hometown and members of the public. They also received visits by scout groups, companies and educational institutions to the Pink House, where visitors get to learn the various ideas and activities of Pawanis, including their conservation efforts. The visitors often took part in the mangrove replanting program. Sekarang ni pewani uh, uh, beli daripada Kuala Setiu. Uh, kemungkinan pewani pun akan buat anak benih sendiri tapi uh, yang ada dalam ni uh, anak benih ni kita beli dari Kuala Setiu dan Pekalan Gelak. Dan sekarang ni kalau ada pelacur luar datang kita cas satu kepala RM10 sepokok. Duit tu kita beli anak benih dan kita bagi dengan kumpulan perintis wanita ni untuk Pawanis main source of income is selling banana chips, replanting mangrove as well as other nature conserving activities. It may seem like a petty job, but Pawanis banana chips are indeed popular, especially among their visitors. The visitors also participate in the banana chips making process. Another activity by Pawanis is making traditional kites or wow. Not only does it generate income to the group, but it also teaches the current generation the art of making traditional kites, especially in this modern technology driven world. What are the future plans? Future plan, we want to exit. I think for all conservation projects, as such with community group, most important thing, we need to plan to exit. Because if we are still here for the, I don't know, for the next three years means there's something wrong that we are doing. And we are glad to say that hopefully um, at, this rate go, at this pace, um, within the next two years, if faster one year, Bawanis can stand on their own and making additional incomes from low impact tourism activities and continuously doing awareness work with the local villagers in situ and of course uh, WWF be happy to provide technical advice only when there is a necessity. Ya yeah, sebenarnya species yang dah makin pupus ni kita harap still masih boleh diselamatkan lah.
As this world evolves rapidly into the high-tech era, there is one village that decided to step up and start preserving the environment for a better future. They are out-of-the-box thinking and love for Mother Nature is something we need to imitate in order to save our beloved Earth from dying. If more societies like Powanis and organizations like WWF and Nestle take this initiative, we can realize the dream of a cleaner, more beautiful world for our children. <laughs>